What's going on guys? I'm doing yet another video on Jason Bond Lightning Alerts and the more I get into the service the more I'm enjoying it, the more I'm thinking it's something that you guys should really try and check out. And so today I was looking at the pre-market alert, the lightning alert from 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock Eastern Time which you've talked about in the last few videos. I keep meaning to move on to the actual meat and potatoes of the service which is the swing trades but I'm kind of drawn in with this idea of trading pre-market. Just taking these penny stock alerts and and uh, being done and dusted for the day before the, the actual work day really fully starts, right? So it's kind of attractive in that way. And so far this is like four or five days in looking at these alerts and they're they're pretty good. So a couple have been like small losses, but the last couple have been really quite uh, quite good gainers. So I've been documenting them all in this article, which I always leave a link to in the description below. So you can go and check out this article. I'm going to try and keep it updated. It's becoming kind of a habit now to, to do these, these trades and to to follow Jason. I think um, the more the more I get into the service, the more I'm enjoying it. So I'd highly recommend uh, looking into this a little bit more. So let me talk a little bit about the last couple of trades in the video before I think I talked about, let me see, this guy. So um, this was a lightning strike. So one of these trades that happens pre-market between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern time. And it um, basically doubled in half an hour. And I talked about that a little bit. And so this morning was another huge winner. So he was looking at BBAI. Um, I'm saying day four. I've been a member of the service for a while, but day four of me documenting and really kind of reporting this in my videos and on my blog. So um, this was cool. This was another good trade. And what I did is uh, I posted a chart and things, I think. Let me see. Not quite yet. So uh, let me look at the my brokerage and I'll show you kind of what happened. So this is BBAI. This is the start of the alert around around here this morning is the start to move on news. So if we draw in our entry line here uh, about this guy, 1.74ish. So around about 1.8 is kind of the start here. And basically the alert just kept running all pre-market all the way up to a high of 3.85, which is more than double. Um, and of course you can't really expect to always get uh, the whole move, but even if you just took this move, you'd have still got about 1.8 to maybe till this red candle here. So around about 2.64, which is still a really nice move on this uh, penny stock, BBAI. And so if we look at the um, actual chat here, I scrolled back so you guys can see it, that people are actually taking these trades and making money. Um, you can see people are saying, nice, Jason Bond. Let's keep going back a little bit here. So Jason gives the explanation of the trade throughout the course of the uh, the actual trade itself. So people like Jason, I like Jason, <laughs> he's been on this channel uh, at least once now. And so he's a good teacher, he's a good guy, we've been talking a little bit and uh, basically people were making, making money from this trade. I'm trying to find some people that were actually... Um, BBI going for four. So this guy was taking half profits at 325. Um, so you can see people are talking about this trade as it goes on, uh, which is kind of cool because you have the support of a chat room, which is pretty nice. It's always good. This guy's lightning strike, and there's a picture of Jason just like on fire. <laughs> you see that? Like, <laughs> just lightning coming out of him. It's pretty good. And so some people are scalping it, smaller amounts. Um, that's my final round. So this guy was in and out of this thing 310 to 340 but he also traded it a few times before so people are playing this differently using their different experience different risk tolerances and things and, and still making money um, and then this is uh, brings me back to this where Jason would just scream cheddar each time he got a big win I haven't heard him do that for a while on a webinar I did with him a few months ago I got him to say that <laughs> cheddar uh, for old times sake but yeah, so this guy went 238 to 351. So if we look at the chart, 238. So people were waiting a little bit to get in, more kind of up, up around here, and then kind of holding, holding for this uh, move up over time. So none of these things you desperately need to chase this one. So we're on the one minute chart. This one did move pretty quickly though. So people were chasing kind of on this move uh, up, up here. So just have a quick look at some more of things 238 to 351 that's awesome so 
this is what I'm saying. Like everybody's like so skeptical of everything, but if you go into these rooms and you watch them for a while, you can start to realize that people people love these guys. Like Jason's well, like he he's well respected by his subscribers. Dude, Jason, you're the best of the best. I see this all the time with Jeff and Jason. Um, so sometimes it helps just to go into these chat rooms and see how real subscribers are doing, which is part of what I do, right, in these videos and these reviews that I do, is I try and give real insights. I try and be fair, like I'm not saying that Jason's the best trader ever and you're going to make tons of money or anything with them, but I try and be fair and I let people see like what actually is going on in these rooms. It's very easy to just read dismissal reviews from people that took one trade or didn't even join the join the services and things. And so I think Jason's still live. Let's see what he's saying at the moment. I think this is his section. I don't know where we're into the swing Thank trade you from section. doing good trades. But overnight risk on a stock that has high dilution risk, we're going to we're going to we're going to steer clear of those. But this this guy's holding up strong right at that pivot point because they haven't dropped the news that shorts need to get their win. And if they don't drop it Thursday, Friday, you'll probably see a squeeze back to 10. So BIOR, what we know is high risk of an offering, dilution, but shorts know that too. So too many people on one side of the trade causes it to go in the other direction, almost always. So this is live right now. I just paused it. Uh, so you can hear is kind of his commentary. This section of the service, I'm not sure what time frame we're actually in now because I think gap and go is already done, which is the market open. I think we might be into the part where he's starting to talk about swing trades. So we can kind of watch it for a little bit here, scroll down, see what people are saying. Uh, B-I-O-R, that's the one he's talking about just now. Let's see what else he has to say. The question is, did they have news? A rival group. I can't remember if they had news, but what we do know is that it's in play above 30 cents as a base trade. Nice trending stock, looks more like a swing trading stock, kind of like our uh, swivel trade. Which Swivel's putting in a, uh, if you missed it this morning, we were talking about, see the pattern on Swivel now? These are the swing trading patterns that I always look for. Up, in, up again, in, up again. So we're kind of hoping to see this above 30. I think traders start taking it seriously if it breaks 30. And that's not that they won't because it could have news, good or bad at any time. Good meaning it would go higher, bad meaning it would go lower. But a 30 pivot and people are going to start to take into consideration this could be at 50. So... So this is something I like about Jason a lot is he's very good with the psychology of these penny stocks about where certain levels people are like, okay, this is probably if this breaks, other people are going to be interested. Just like the basics of trading. And he's done this for a decade and he's really got it dialed in pretty well. So uh, you can see like if, there, if you join the service, there's no shortage of content, right? Like he is live like all day, every day. There's a couple hours he takes a break around lunchtime, I think. But if you are wanting to learn penny stocks and get ideas and also trade alerts, then you can kind of like get get that from the service, um, which is pretty cool. The announcements come out here, so when people take trades or whatever, they get announced here. I think um, the more I'm playing with this service, the more I'm liking it. So, for example, the swing trades, which I still haven't really had a chance to cover fully yet, I'm trying to put together some data for you guys. For example, Sen was one yesterday. So Sen, people were entering around 0.4 or 5-ish. Actually, it was the day before. So, like back here let's see where we're at let's put on the five minute back here so look at this swing trade from like down down here and people are exiting for 15 20 percent up here uh, and that's been like two or three in a row that i've seen so i'm going to leave this for a future video though because i want to try and put together a little bit more of the swing trading part of this um, service for you guys so i'm not going to go into details on that uh, i wanted to talk about the offer a little bit so this is the offer. If you go to my article, which is linked in the description below, and click on the one of the affiliate links, it'll take you to this offer, which is 88% off. It's still the holiday special, which is cool. Um, so you can read about what you actually get with the service. So small cap strategies and live trade ideas, which is really cool. Like I showed you, this is kind of an example of what you get for the live trading and things. And looking down here to see what else. So what he did is he actually condensed a whole bunch of services. So Monday Movers was a service. Lightning Strike was a service. And then he has this core swing trade and Jason Bond stuff, which was all condensed down into this one Lightning Strike service. And so you can see like what you get, the regular price is um, pretty high. And it's, honestly, it's worth it. I would say it's worth $2,000 yearly because this is really several good services crammed into one. 
And so you can pick sections, you can change, chop and change or whatever. A lot of good stuff in here, I really like it. Uh, it looks like you can get it for 500 bucks uh, for a year. I think they had a deal where you could get it a little cheaper than that. Let me check here. Um, no, it looks like it's still, looks like it's $500 for the year. I thought they were doing like a $70 a month thing or something, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like they're selling it yearly now. Um, which is fine, 500 bucks for the year, still still an amazing deal, which is really cool. Alright, well hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, I do recommend the um, I do recommend the service. I'm starting to really enjoy doing it every morning, uh, and I'll keep this article up to date. Again, this article will be linked in the description below. Alright guys, talk soon.